Blended is the third film starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore and I was really looking forward to this film because some of the most recent Adam Sandler movies haven't been that great. Jack and Jill, Grown Ups 2, just to name a few. And I really enjoy Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore together. 50 First Dates and The Wedding Singer are some of his best films. So I thought, you know, third time's a charm. And it is. I was very surprised of how much I enjoyed this film. This movie is about um, Adam Sandler going on this date with Drew Barrymore. They don't like each other. And something happens to where... Uh, both of them actually get to go on a vacation to Africa together, not knowing that they're going to be there together. And they have to blend in as a family, a uh, total of seven of them. Adam Sandler has three daughters and Drew Barrymore has two sons. And they got to blend in as a family. And, you know, they're going to start to like each other and it's going to be a happy ending, you know, cheesy movies like that. So the movie was a bit predictable. You already know what's going to happen. They had this storyline of, you know, Adam Sandler couldn't be in love with her and they hate each other. But, you know, everything works out. Uh, I'm not trying to spoil, but you, everybody knows essentially how these romantic comedies work. But I really enjoyed this film. It was funny. Um, I laughed a lot. I really enjoyed Adam Sandler. He wasn't stupid. You know, he had some funny things to say. Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler worked well together. I think a lot of cameos in the film of uh, some of Adam, Adam Sandler's friends were hilarious. Uh, the, a lot of the side characters were great. Surprisingly, I wasn't annoyed at anybody in the film, not even the children. Some of the movies I see where they have annoying children, especially like Grown Ups and Grown Ups 2. His kids in those movies are stupid. But here, uh, none of the kids actually annoyed me and they all had, a, had something to do in the film that was really great. You know, this film wasn't the best film that I've seen this year, but as an Adam Sandler film, it's one of his most recent better films, and I'm ha very happy that he has had a film recently that's actually pretty good. It's kind of one of those movies that you just sit back, relax, and watch, and it's not something you're expecting a lot out of. It's not like a hard R comedy movie. It's just, it's a heartwarming film. Got some family moments and some great humor that I think you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy. I know it's got a low rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but for me, I really like Adam Sandler and some of his most recent movies I really do enjoy. Like, I like Grown Ups, but not Grown Ups 2. And I really, really love That's My Boy, and I know everybody hates that film. But blend it with here at Drew Barrymore, the third time he's been working with her, and they got a great chemistry, and it, they, it makes it work, and it's just really funny. Some of the scenery in the film is actually very beautiful and they take notice of how beautiful it is and the animals and the landscape of Africa and they, they give you overview shots and everything and so it's really nice to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and give Blend It a B-. minus. You know, I was expecting um, hopefully a better Adam Sandler film than Grown Ups 2 and that's what I got and I'm pleased with that. So this is Just Watch Movies. Please rate, subscribe, comment and I'll see you later. Bye.